The hardest question that anyone can propose to me is how are you? Because I start to think, okay, how am I? I was doing this and that and I'm feeling like that. But then I discovered that in the Anglican world, it is just, just like someone says hello to you. Hello, how are you? When in our country, we say, how are you? We really mean it. <laughs> you see, you see the def difference. There's two elements together, the perfectionism <laughs> and honesty, and how it can mess up your brain, you know. When I was a child, I was diagnosed with ADHD and with compulsive disorder. ADHD is that I just can't sit down and focus on concrete subjects for a long time. But for an entrepreneur, ADHD is a blessing because I can have those single-minded obsessive thoughts that take me forward with my mission, that help me to realize my potential. And another thing, I might not have it anymore because I used to have asthma, bad eyesight, etc. But with right nutrition and detox, we are able to surpass almost every disease. That's just, that's just life, you know. But what about compulsive disorder? That's for example, when I closed the door and I had to close it some 30, 40 times before I was satisfied. It just made me crazy. But I grew out of it as well, because now I don't care. I'm not trying to be perfect anymore, because it came from my need to be perfect and to satisfy other people's needs. And when I learned that I don't have to get things perfect, I just started trying out the permaculture principle. If it's safe enough, let's try it. If it's safe enough for now, we can have a go. And I have tested this principle on many things. I have built my company, my business over it. I have had 50 minutes of preparation time for my concert and went on a stage, no problem. Because I have mastered the opposite of perfectionism the opposite of compulsive disorder and that's spontaneity and it gives me so much sat satisfaction that I can just start doing my stuff and I just don't care my wife does not understand how can I give a lecture just I'm eating my avocados and other stuff and five minutes to go and then I'm like ah oh, I'm ready she just doesn't get it. I think no one will get it. Because I solve a problem in my life. It's, it's really like an entrepreneurial mindset. I solve a problem and I solved it with the extreme. My problem was that I had this compulsive perfectionism. That I had to get all lines straight and everything so perfect. That I could not live my life. I was focused on... On, on those l small details and then I realized but if I just do the thing and if I repeat it as many times as possible it will be perfect so I started solving the problem to get it as perfect as possible and from there for example I learned of making more videos I get better in presenting them and I'm getting better in making them visually sensitive. Okay, but I have got some 500 videos more to go when I get it to super edited stuff like three second frames and massive camera angles. No problem, because I'm solving a problem. I'm doing, repeating, 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 doing my re repeats like how Arnold Schwarzenegger 
became the strongest man in the world. He was repeating his stuff. He got strong, you know. And you get strong by repeating your stuff. And then you can be really honest. It's not like anymore that I'm trying to hide something. Oh, I have this disorder or I cannot stay still. I just say to people that I have got this problem and this or I like you. You are really beautiful. I just speak out loud everything that I have on my mind. And I think one of the reasons is that I decided not to be perfect anymore. I don't have to make perfect compliments. And, and secondly, I don't have to please other people. I just can say like, I don't like what you are doing. <laughs> he said so badly to me. That's your problem. I'm, I'm being honest with you, but also respectful. So I don't say fuck off. I could say, but it's, it's not respectful, you know. I say like, oh, it's not okay because it does this and that and that. We, and let's be friends. <laughs> or, or I hadn't had this incident on a playground with my child as, he, as she pooped on the playground. And I was far off, so I did not see or I did not realize what she was doing. But then some, a man started shouting towards her. What are you doing, you stupid child? Um, I, I go there and, and I'm like, I will break you if you say one more, more word to my child. And he's like, oh. and then he wants to start shouting. And then I'm all, almost like they're going to grab him. And, and he understands that, okay, he's being fucking honest and he's serious about things. Because no one cannot, is not allowed to attack my child. It's, it's fucking dangerous, you know. When my child gets in danger, it's, it's dangerous for, for the one who inflict, is trying to inflict the damage. But when the situation passes, I'm just like, okay, I'm clean, I clean that poo away and, and, I, and I wave to that person goodbye. Like, like everything is solved now because the situation is over and we don't have to take it anymore. We don't have to think about it anymore. We don't have to take it too much personally. But most people cannot get it. So one of my favorite places in the world is Italy because there people can get emotional and they live through their emotions and then they calm down. Everything passes, everything is over, no problem. And that's why honesty is important. When we can process our emotions, we are not stuck with our emotions anymore. And we are able to go on with our lives. When you try to hold on to the, your grudge or your emotion, or you try to get something perfect, you just go crazy because you kind of process all the damage you are inflicting to yourself. When you are living in the past, you are damaging yourself on this present moment. Of course, you can deal with the past trauma. That's a different process. But when you are just living and doing compulsive things, you are living somewhere else than on this very moment. On this very moment, you got to do things that you enjoy that make you a better person. And sometimes, yes, to be a better person, you got to set boundaries when you see some strange things happening in the world, yes. But mostly, it's being polite and helping others. It's being friendly with them, you know. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Check out the videos on manifestation, subscribe, and see you soon. Hit the bell notification. So, goodbye.